Oh, um, hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. We're gonna be talking about waves now. Whenever you hear the wave word, what do you think of when you think of a wave? Maybe something like this? Hmm, I'm not sure if that's the wave I'm talking about. I think there's a scientific way. I'm not sure. I bet my friend Ariel has an idea. Wow, I can hear a beautiful voice. But I gotta ask Ariel a question. Hey, Ariel! Ariel! Oh! <laughs> Hi ho, Kermit! Ariel, what do you think of when you think of a wave? Waves? Well, when I sing part of your world, I think waves like the oceans splashing on me. Oh, I see it right now. A big wave? Be careful, Ariel. Look out! I hope she's okay. Are you okay, Ariel? I'm fine, Kermit. I'm not sure if that's the right type of wave. I'm not sure if that's that kind of wave either. Maybe Henry will know about the waves. Henry! Or maybe I should sing in a voice. Henry! Oh, hi, Ariel. What's going on? Glad you're here, Henry. What do you think of when you think of a wave? We're trying to figure that out. Oh, waves. Well, I, I, I know what waves are. I would like to wave my hand and move my legs. I go round and round. Whoa! <laughs> but I'm not sure that's the right type of wave. That's true, Henry. You know, I think there's a science way to talk about the waves. We need a scientific girl who knows about the waves. You know what, Ariel? I think we know a science legend who knows all about waves and science. Royal the Science Girl! Great idea, Henry. Maybe Royal the Science Girl knows a science way to talk about waves. She might be able to help us. That's a good idea. I'll call Royal now. Royal! Royal! I don't think she can hear me. Maybe my loud voice. Royal? Royal! I heard somebody call my name. Oh, <laughs> I hear, I see you. Um, guys, what's going on? We're trying to think what type of wave it was for a science show. But we couldn't think of one. Royal? Do you know about waves? You? Yep. Waves? Yes, I know about waves, Henry. Sound is made up with vibrations or sound waves that we can hear things with. The sound waves are, are formed when, when you hear things, the sound wave, it vibrates, you know, shaking back and forth. Sound can travel through the air and the water or solid objects as vibrations. Wow. There's also sound waves. Well, Royale, let me ask you this. How can you measure sound waves? And what do you use? We measure sound by using the oscilloscope. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me, but Mr. Ritchie has one at his lab. Do you guys want to go to the lab? He's going to tell us about frequency and how waves work. Let's go to Mr. Ritchie's science lab right now. Uh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my science show with Cassidy, the science gal. Appreciate you being here today. And we're talking about sound waves. Sound waves are amazing. Think about how our life would be different without sounds. And some people wonder, can sounds travel through matter? <laughs> Let's think about that. Hmm. I'm talking around right now. You can hear my voice. It's traveling through gases. What about through solids? See, you can hear my voice. Can you hear my voice through here? <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. Solid. What about liquids though? Think about if you're underwater and you're trying to talk to somebody. Let me test this right now. <laughs> See what I mean? It travels through all states of matter. The cool thing about sound is that it has to have matter to travel. If you're in space, you wouldn't be able to hear anything. So all those shows, sorry to bust your bubble, 
but they're not very accurate. If they're out there in space, you hear all these noises with the rockets because it's, space is what we call a vacuum. Mm. All right? And so we wonder, can you even see sound waves? And we know there's evidence of them, but yes. If you walk over here to my computer of science, I have this virtual... Oh, stop. <laughs> Sorry. It does measure. As you can hear, it's seeing the wavelengths um, from the energy that I'm giving off of sound. So what about wavelengths? Well, let me draw a picture here. The longer the wavelength, the wavelengths, the deeper the frequency, the less amount of energy. But if we have wavelengths like this... Boy, that's lots of energy, and the higher the frequency it's going to be. So test this out. Low. <laughs> Boy, look at those wavelengths are flying through there. Look. See that? Oh, can I try? Yes. Close those wavelengths were together. Wow. That means you had a higher frequency and higher and more energy. Natural frequency, right? Of each object. Each object has a natural frequency. And I want you to think about this. Is it possible that a singer could actually shatter glass? And I'll leave you with that thought. Hmm. I might like to give that a try. Just be safe and get parental permission. See you next time.